Hello YouTube, the nerd named Danny here, and today I will be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server using Craft Bucket version 1.8.1. .1. The links will be in the description for the two things that you need to download. Firstly, go to the first link here and click on Download Craft Bucket number 1185 here. Save that to wherever you are going to be working with your Minecraft. Then go to the second link, which will be at Mediafire. And then click on click here to start download and then go to save file and save that on the same location then go to where you saved all of your files and firstly you're going to want to double click on the craft bucket 0.0.1 .0 snapshot a bunch of files will pop up in a moment then you're going to want to extract the uh, server starters zip file go into that folder and then copy them all out into the main folder area then you're gonna wanna find out which one you want if you're on a 64-bit computer try a 64-bit A if you're on a 32-bit computer try A 32-bit A rather and try all of them until you get one that works I know that I'm on 64-bit A so I'm gonna go ahead and run that and here we go my server is starting to run now when it's done you can immediately play on localhost using the um, minecraft client and if you don't have that downloaded you can download that from minecraft.net alright so download when you have your server all the way done you're going to want to get minecraft.exe it doesn't matter where it is on your computer and you're just going to run that when it comes up log in with your minecraft account and then to be able to play it you're going to want to go to multiplayer and then click direct connect and then only because it's on your computer you can either type in localhost or you can type in 127.0.0.1 I prefer localhost because it's just easier to type. Then click on join server. And there you go. Here you are playing your very first bucket uh, Minecraft server all by yourself. Now, right now, nobody can connect and join it. So, in order to do that, you're going to need to follow along to the next steps. We're going to be using no IP, and I'm going to be showing you how to port forward and open the port. Um, so, go ahead and log out of that and you can even close out of this so to port forward I've already made a video for how to port forward so it would be a bit tedious for me to sit here and talk to you about how to do that so instead I'm gonna put the link in the description and in an annotation right now um click on that watch how to port forward and do it and then come back here and finish watching the rest of the video Alright, welcome back. Assuming you've port forwarded now, we're going to show you how to or open up the ports in your local um, firewall on your computer. Now, I'm assuming that you're using Windows Firewall. If you have a different firewall, figure it out on your own. So, go into start and find Windows Firewall. Windows, wow, I fail at typing. Windows Firewall with advanced security. Go into that. Now, I'm not sure any of this is required. However, for my computer, I've just found that it it works only when I port forward so go to inbound rules and click on new rule then go to port and you're gonna want port 25565 click next allow the connection click next and then give it a name for mine I'm just gonna type minecraft click finish then go to outbound rules click on new rule go to port 25565 next allow the connection Again, not sure if it's required, but works a whole lot better that way. Again, Minecraft and finish. There you go. Um, we should be done with all the port business now. Now we're gonna set up no IP. Now, no IP isn't required, but most people's IPs change every couple days. And if you want all of your players on your server to be able to go on regularly, then you're gonna want no IP because it'll keep up with your IP, and you'll have some subdomain like your minecraft.zapto.org 
and it's a whole lot easier that way. If you choose not to do no IP, go to whatismyip.org, and then right up there, just in plain text, it'll tell you your IP. Otherwise, for the no IP way, go to no-ip.org, then you're going to want to make an account. So to do that, you're going to click create account down there. Um, it's really easy, you just go through, you put in your information, and you confirm the email. Once you've made your account, come to the home page and go ahead and log in. Put in your information and log in. It'll bring you to a members portal. Then you're going to want to click on hosts and redirects up in the top left corner. Then you're going to want to go add a host. Then here, create a name for it. Like, for example, Minecraft Lovers. Dot, it has to be under the free domains. Dot, hoptoe.org. Minecraft lovers. Dot, Minecraft lovers. Dot, hoptoe.org. Leave everything else the same. Don't change anything. Then go ahead and click on create host. Now, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and go to download client. Then click on Windows, assuming that you're on Windows. Then click on the download. Save it to your computer and run the setup. Then when you're done, you're going to see a program. It's going to be called DUC 3.0. Or maybe when you're watching this, there's a newer version. It'll either pop up or it'll be in the tray. If it's in the tray, double click it. There you go. It'll pop up. You'll have to log in. Then go to select host and make sure that the one that you made is checked. Then go to save. It'll say one host. And there you go. You're good to go. You should be able to give your thing that you made in no IP in my case minecraftlovers.hoptoe.org and they'll be able to type that into um, minecraft and they'll be able to get on your server and make sure though your server has to be running so make sure you run the correct starter like 64-bit A